Hi and welcome to this DCP Web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert images into a Word document table. So, let's go ahead and open up the web browser and I'm going to show you this example image. So this image I've already downloaded. If I open up this folder, you'll see that there is 12 images I've downloaded from Unsplash. I'll put links to all of these images in the YouTube description. Just simply click on each one of the links and then click on the free download button and then save that file to your computer in a directory. Then you should have 12 images as well. You don't have to use these same images. You can search on Unsplash for different images or you can use your own personal photographs or something from your business event. Now, you, um, the dimensions of the image, you can see they're all sort of landscape. You want to try and stick with the same uh, size of image in terms of its width and height. So you want images that are all landscape or all portrait rather than having a mixture. So we close down the web browser and open up Microsoft Word. We'll go to blank document here and go to file, save as, and let's just save our work. This is always wise. So we will go to the desktop and in here, I'm going to call this file amazing places uh, some amazing pictures. So let's click save and we'll see that word document in here now just a blank file. Now the first thing we want to do is fix the margins. So let's go to layout margins and then go to custom margins here and we'll set them all to one. So all the top left right and bottom values we'll set them to one and click OK. That just reduces the amount of margin around the edge. And we'll add in a title now. So let's click the center button here. And we'll use the same name as what we've named the document. Some amazing places or pictures. And we want to change the font. You don't have to change the font. I'm going to use this particular font, uh, Arial Black. And we'll use this button here to increase the font size. Now we'll go to the end of this text here and hit the enter key and click normal. And that just changes the font back to its normal style and we're going to insert a table and it's going to be three on a row. So let's insert three on a row and we'll get to the end part of this table. So click in this end cell and then hit the tab key and that will create two rows. And we need, uh, let's see, we've got, uh, let's, let's actually just make a few. Just keep, keep hitting the tab key until you get quite a few rows. We can delete ones that we don't need afterwards. But let's have more rows than probably what we need. And we want to insert a picture here, right in this position. So let's go to insert and we'll go to picture here. And let's go back to my desktop and we'll select the first image and click insert. When you insert, you can see the image is quite big. So what we'll do is hold down the shift key and the left mouse button and go to the bottom right hand corner so that we can reduce the size. And we don't want to reduce it too small. We want to reduce it so that it doesn't push this middle column. You can see it's pushing the middle column. We want to get it to where it doesn't start with yeah, roughly around sort of here is going to be a good place. So we don't want to have to resize all of the images separately. So let's click on this image, press Control C to copy and then paste it here and then paste it here again. So let's just do that one more time. I'll click on this picture, press Control C to copy, press Control V to paste and then Control V to paste. Or you can always, you know, just use the shortcut keys, Control C and Control V. These are easy shortcut keys to remember. Now, this image here, we want to change it. So let's click on it, double click on the image, and then we want to change picture from file and select the second image. And we'll double click on this one and change picture from file and select the third image. Now we'll leave a blank gap here and we'll paste it down and we'll leave another blank row here and paste down. So that's nine and we have 12 in total, right? So we're leaving that blank gap so we can put in a little title there afterwards. And now we just got to just double click on this picture, go to change picture from file, select the fourth one. And we can do this quite quickly now. This one here. I'm just gonna go through and select all of the images. And these could have been images from a, an event that you've done. It could be a birthday party. It could be from a holiday, it could be from various things, right? These are just pictures or you can take stuff from Unsplash and make something nice like this. It's entirely your choice. Uh, sometimes I'll do something like this if I want to show clients variations of logos, for example. If I want to make like, maybe I've done, maybe a client's commissioned me to do 
10 different logos for 10 different projects and I'll put them all in a Word document like this so I can just send them a PDF of all the different logos. That's a good example. So let's select this one and this very last one here. Okay, so that's all of the images selected. Now you'll notice that some of the images are not quite tall enough. So just to fix that, we'll just drag this down a little bit. It's going to, you know, really we should have resized all of these in Photoshop, but um, because these are that photographs, it doesn't really matter if you resize it this way. It's still going to look pretty good. And the stretching is only a tiny amount, so it's not going to look, you know, distorted by any means. So we need to give each one of these a title. Before we do that, let's left click here. So on the outside of this row, we're going to left click and then use the center here. And we'll do that for this one as well and center it. We'll do it for this one, center it, and then we'll do it for the last one and center. Now these rows here we don't really need. So let's left click here and drag down just on the outside and then hit the backspace key and that will delete all of them. So let's quickly give these a title. So let's let's just I'll make some random titles up. So let's just say blue sky and mountains. Let's say uh, river. So you don't have to put these titles in, but I think um, describing each image is quite a nice thing to do as well. So uh, let's call this one the Red Forest Colorful So we've got a title in for each one. Now, you can see that there's a border around this, right? We want to get rid of the border. But before we do that, let's show you we can format these images in, in uh, we can make them look a bit better, right? So if we double click on this picture here, and I'm going to use the, these are some borders that you can put around them, right? Now, some of them work, will work well. Sometimes you've got to resize the image uh, to make the, the border work correctly. So a lot of these are going to be a little bit, you know, they're not going to work too well, but the one that I really want to use is the faded one, which will work fine because it fades inwards. So let's select that and we'll select this faded option. You'd have to resize the image. You'd have to make them actually a bit smaller if you want to use these other styles. You have to make the image a bit smaller so that it fits inside the square correctly. But we're going to use the fade, uh, this sort of blurry fade effect. So I'll apply that to all of them. In theory, we could have applied it on the very first image and then copied and pasted and hopefully it would have retained that, but um, it doesn't take long to do that. Let's left click here and press Control B to make these titles bold. So we just left click and then press Control B and save it. So the last thing we want to do is get rid of the table. The table is there, but we want to make it invisible. So let's click up here on this little option up here. That will highlight the whole table. We'll go back to the home and we'll select this drop down and select no border. And the last thing I'll do is double click in the footer down here. This is completely optional. You might wanna put your website address or your company name, or maybe if it's a birthday, you can put the person's name there and, and the date. You can put loads of different things down here in the footer. So we've got space for at least one more row and then we'll go to a second page. Uh, and we could create another set of these on a separate page. But I reckon we could get at least one more, maybe two more rows of images. But this should be enough for, as an example. Let's click Save. Now I want to save it as a PDF file. Let's go to File, Save As. And we'll go to PDF and then click Save as well. And we can close down the Word document. Let's close that down. And inside this folder, we have the original Word document. And now we have a PDF version as well. 
and we can see all the pictures nicely laid out they're in a grid they're all equally sized and you've got a nice sort of spacing between them and everything looks quite clean so you can see that here as a document now you can obviously improve this document you could change the title styles you could do quite a lot of things with this but it's a good way to showcase lots of different pictures maybe you're a photographer and you want to showcase some of your work you just want to send that to the client or maybe this was a a summer party at your business and you want to take some photographs and maybe email that to people right within your company uh, let's say there's 20 people and you want to email loads of photographs to everyone you could create this document and your file will probably be no more than one megabyte if you had double the amount of pictures which will be uh, 24 pictures for example right so roughly around 12 pictures is coming in at around just under half a megabyte the word document itself is 1.2 meg but more importantly the original images are 57.7 meg so to drag that into an email probably wouldn't work and it would take forever to send but now you've got a nice lightweight pdf file although the images are not of the highest quality you could say when you zoom it's going to pixelate a bit but at 180 percent it's a zoom it's looking pretty good anyway so that's how i go about uh, creating a table inside a word document then inserting multiple images formatting those images adding a bit of style to them and uh, exporting as a pdf file i use this technique sometimes when i want to showcase certain projects to my clients it might be banner adverts imagine if i want to showcase loads of different banner adverts or showcase some logo designs um, rather than sending them lots and lots of individual files i can just send them one pdf file with all the examples inside of there maybe of my most recent projects okay let's close this down let's close this down i hope you enjoyed that tutorial and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial mm -hmm.